Hi guys, it's um, uh, 13 days since I carried out the uh, initial trials at uh, 5 to 30 volts and uh, a few days have passed uh, since I um, gathered all this information. It takes me a while to get it together to uh, edit the videos. So I'm going to start this video with some graphs that you uh, hopefully find interesting and then after the graphs there's just a, uh, a bit of me uh, wittering on uh, about some of the issues that I encountered uh, along the way. Uh, this first graph shows the uh, efficiency and that's covering the range of uh, 3 volts to 30 volts and um, essentially it's the um, uh, output divided by the input multiplied by 100. I've taken the calorific value of the HHO as uh, 7,744 joules per litre or 7,744 watt seconds per litre if you prefer and uh, all the information in these trials and uh, uh, in all of the videos including this one have been carried out with the test cell uh, that is 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters um, 316 stainless steel with a one millimeter gap and the water is from my dehumidifier I've shown the uh, efficiency in the 5 to 30 volt range before um, but now I've carried out the trials uh, at uh, voltages less than 5 volts and uh, I had a few issues arising and um, there's a bit of a discontinuity in the data and uh, I don't know if it was uh, a difference in temperature um, or, or what it was but anyway, so I think these figures are indicative um, rather than being uh, precise. I think they give uh, a very good indication of uh, the efficiency over a range of voltages. I say I did find that I had differences in the figures that I obtained for 5 volts and um, it's exactly the same water as just a 13 day gap between the two sets of trials but to say the um, uh, the workshop could have been at a different temperature anyway this gives uh, a pretty clear indication that uh, as the cell voltage is reduced or the voltage applied to the cell is reduced uh, so the efficiency increases and um, the difference between the um, uh, 3 volt figure and the 30 volt figure is uh, what's that a, a factor of 7 so it's uh, over 7 times more efficient to work at 3 volts than it is to work at 30 volts as I've said before the production rate does increase with voltage and uh, I'll, um, I'll pop the production rate graph in now so this graph shows the uh, production rate in uh, milliliters per second and that's covering the voltage range of 3 volts to 30 volts. I did carry out trials at 2 volts but I couldn't get any production at all. I had no gas production at 2 volts whatsoever and remember I've got no additives in this water and um, uh, again, it's an area that I need to investigate because I did anticipate at, at least getting some uh, uh, gas production at those levels. And uh, again, I'm going to say ignore that kink in the uh, bottom of the graph uh, between 3 and 10 volts. As um, you know, just take this as being uh, indicative, as being an indicator that as you increase the voltage, you'll see so you get a uh, a steady climb in production and what I'll do now is I'll bring back the uh, efficiency graph so as we can compare the increase in production uh, against the decrease of efficiency 
Okay, here's the efficiency graph again, and uh, what I'll do is see if I can squeeze it up so as I get both graphs on the screen together. I'm sure there's some clever way of getting uh, multiple lines on uh, the graph in uh, Excel with two different scales, but uh, I haven't mastered that yet, so it's easier for me to do it uh, in Photoshop. So I hope that's uh, still clear. But uh, you can see that uh, as the, um, uh, the voltage is increased on the bottom scale, uh, so the production rate increases, and but on the top scale you can see that the uh, efficiency reduces. And so I say, this is indicative rather than being uh, pedantically correct. Anyway, if you want to uh, dwell on that, stop the video now, uh, otherwise I'll carry on to the next uh, graph. This graph is uh, just the detail of uh, the production rate in terms of uh, millilitres per watt second over the range of 3 volts to 5 volts. As I say, I couldn't get any um, significant readings at 2 volts uh, whatsoever. This graph shows the uh, apparent resistance of the cell at uh, 2 volts, 3 volts, 4 volts and 5 volts and um, remember in a previous video I showed you at 30 volts uh, the cell resistance uh, went down to 20 point 83 ohms and uh, that ohmic value has been uh, calculated after measuring the uh, amps and volts into the cell at each of the stated voltages. This next graph is the same information but ignoring the very high 2 volt reading. And uh, this next bit is um, uh, just a little bit about some of the issues that I encountered uh, during these trials. Hi guys, I've just got set up uh, again to do the low voltage check, so I want to check out the cell at um, voltages of uh, 5 volts and less, and just set it up. And um, it's exactly the same as it was previously. Um, it's 13 days ago since I did the last trials, and uh, this is the same water everything's the same but what I notice is um, previously at 5 volts I pulled 140 milliamps I think it was and uh, this is pulling 220 milliamps um, the cell I've got the cell a little bit warm because when I switched it on first of all I wasn't getting any any gas in the bubbler uh, when I was running at 5 volts and as I increase the volts, uh, bang it up there to uh, 30 volts, and uh, you can see now I'm producing uh, bubbles, but when I go down to uh, 5 volts, um, I'm, I, I wasn't producing any bubbles in the bubbler. And uh, I, I've got uh, bubbles here, in fact I've got a bit of scum in there now, I'm not quite sure what, uh, what that's all about. Um, uh, but uh, I could see I was producing little bubbles there, just tiny little bubbles, so it's at 5 volts the production rate is very small. But I'll show you what I found. So you can see here, hopefully, uh, the bubbles streaming off there. Um, interestingly, I I've just bought this, uh, the camera I'm using now is a new one, it's a, a ZI8 from uh, Kodak. And I bought it off eBay uh, for, and it's come from Portugal and this camera allows me to zoom in and out on the uh, when I've got the close-up lens switched in and uh, my other camera doesn't do that. Anyway I'm getting distracted. So realizing I must have a leak somewhere I've mixed up uh, four drops of washing up liquid in uh, uh, this little egg cup and I painted round uh, the joints because I thought there was going to be a leak somewhere and look at that so 
despite having put uh, sealant on there I don't really want to get water in there but uh, um, I'm sorry. Uh, at 5 volts I'm not producing a lot of gas and uh, the little bit I am is escaping out of there uh, rather than uh, going down the tube and coming out of the bobbler um, but uh, I thought this is uh, uh, really quite odd <laughs> anyway I th just thought I'd uh, share that with you so what I need to do now is um, just strip that down and reseal it I've uh, resealed uh, each of these uh, ports on the top I took that off and resealed it now what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of uh, 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 petroleum jelly bit of Vaseline on the top of there and that's just so that when the rubber seal meets this face uh, it, it will spread out and uh, hopefully sit nicely and remember I'm only going to this trouble because I'm looking for the tiniest amount of uh, gas um, I'm going to be working at very low voltage and um, at less uh, 5 volts and less and um, it's, it's going to be important to uh, make sure I do capture every bit of gas that's going. And yeah, I've turned the volts up, 30 volts, producing gas at a fair old pace. Okay, back to where I started from. Right, I'll start my uh, trials now. In a minute. Okay, I'm back in production. Been running for one minute, uh, 14 seconds, and you can see we're uh, starting to uh, to make gas. And um, so I'll, I'll let that run down to the 10 milliliters. And uh, that's the test at five volts. This is the production rate at uh, 4 volts and you can see it's getting to be painfully slow. It's uh, interesting how the old equipment uh, comes in handy. Um, now I've got down to 2 volts, if we can see that on there, I've got down to 2 volts on there. Uh, the Fluke digital meter will only resolve 10 milliamps and uh, now I'm down at uh, 2 volts. Um, I'm having to use my old uh, AVO and uh, this fella oops, beg your pardon, and uh, this fella will uh, you see there that's 10 milliamps uh, full scale deflection and it will go down to uh, 0 0.05 milliamps yeah so uh, that's not 0 0.05 milliamps, uh, that's 0 0.05 milliamps full scale deflection. Um, uh, and uh, I trust this uh, meter, it's, uh, it's a nice old meter. Um, I've talked about parallax uh, readings on these meters in one of my other videos, so anyway, I'll get the reading. Well, after uh, an hour, in fact, uh, over. Uh, an hour, one hour, three minutes. Um, I've got uh, less than 0.1 of a millimeter, milliliter of gas uh, in the collector, and that's running at two volts. Um, so I'm going to abandon this test. And so remember, I've got no additives in the um, in the tank, so the current is very low. Um, but uh, uh, I've seen suggestions that the uh, maximum efficiency occurs at something like 1.75 volts um, but uh, that must be under some different conditions to what I'm working at here because I, I simply can't measure any appreciable gas at all at 2 volts. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting.
Thanks for watching. Bye bye.